Hi, I'm Time for Kids kid reporter Caroline Curran. Today I'm joined by Charles Foucault, NASA Solar Eclipse Educator. Thank you for joining us today. And thanks for having me here, Caroline. So we all know you're not supposed to look directly at the sun even when the moon is in front of it. So how do you enjoy the solar eclipse safely? I'm going to show you and the folks at home how to make a solar viewer out of very simple materials you can either purchase or you probably have around the house. A little bit of foil a hobby knife, which uh, some kids may want to have their parents help them with, a dry erase or a permanent marker, and this is a tool called an awl, and this is used specifically to make holes in things. A little bit of tape, and of course, your very own safety goggles. You're, so you're going to turn a regular old shipping tube that you could pick up at a postal center into a solar viewer. And what I like about the solar viewer is you don't even look in the direction of the sun, so there's no chance of anyone hurting their eyes. So here's a plain shipping tube. We're going to put a hole in the front of this first. And you don't want to make it a very large hole because the larger the hole, the fuzzier the image. So let's take a hobby knife, put your goggles on, give it a pop. Good. The rougher your, your edge is, the, the worse the image is going to look. So what we do is we put foil over it to smooth out the image. So take some of the tape. I'm going to put the foil here. Now tape the bottom and then tape the side here on the top. So when you put a hole through the foil, which you're going to do now, you're going to see what a nice smooth round hole you're going to get. Put it straight through and pull it right back out. Good. Now we're going to go cut a window out in the side and the viewing window is going to let you look into the tube to see the image of the sun formed at the rear of the tube. So let's take the knife again and just cut along those dotted lines and make yourself a nice little rectangle there. Now you are all ready to view the sun. If it were a nice sunny day outside, you'd put this over your shoulder and you want to put the front of the tube that lets the light in facing the sun. To make sure it's aimed at the sun without looking at it, you want to watch for the shadow on the ground. So it should look like a perfect triangle on the ground. As you do that, also look inside and you should see a bright white image of the sun suddenly appear at the very end of the tube right here. This is the best and safest way to view a partial eclipse of the sun without hurting your eyes. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome.